With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. In this question, we are asked that to initiate translation, the mRNA first binds to. Right, so the options that's given to us are the smaller ribosomal subunit, the larger ribosomal subunit, the whole ribosome, no such specificity exists. Right, so basically the cellular factory, right, as we know that the cellular factory for the protein synthesis, right, the cellular factory for the protein synthesis is basically the ribosome right it is basically known as the ribosome and the ribosome basically consists of the structural rna and about 80 different proteins so in its inactive state it basically exists as two subunits right it exists as two sub units right so the those two subunits out of those two one is the large subunit right and other one is the smaller right small subunit right so when the small subunit it basically encounters the mrna right it encounters the mrna the process of translation of mrna to protein right the process of translation of mrna to protein basically begins or starts right so we can say that the option one is going to be a correct answer that to initiate the translation the mrna first binds to the small subunit right so we can say that option one is our correct answer right for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today